So for the 1977 Scout, we are we are pressing out all of the wheel studs because we got to replace the rotor, but we need to be able to use the hub over again. So we put it in the press and then press it. And here we go. So start jacking. And once it gets to there, now you got to... There it goes, and it falls out. And you come back, loosen, put the pin back in, and we have to turn the hub like that, get it lined up again, and we go to the next one, and pop that one out. And then, <clears throat> That thing's tight. <laughs> Let's see. There it goes. So there you go. That's how you press them out. And then we press them back in. Just turn everything upside down and push them from the bottom side up. So I'll show you that if I can. All righty, guys. Have fun. Hey, everybody. Bones here. Bones Garage. Bringing you update what's going on at the garage. So 1977 International Scout. Just want to give you a quick update. Look at how nice that looks now. All nice and straight. The rotor doesn't hit anymore um, in any spots. I got everything all greased up, ready to go. There's the new rotor with the new bearings inside, all newly greased, ready to rock and roll. And um, just give me a second. I'm gonna throw the rotor on real quick and I'll show you how nice it spins. Hang on, be right back. So there you go, the rotor's in, the nut is on. You can see we have the new races, new bearings, all new wheel bearing grease in there, the new seal on the inside, and listen to how nice this thing sounds. Look at that, no noise, nice and quiet. No more grinding, no more scraping, nothing. Beautiful. Everything is really nice. I'll keep you up to date as I go. I'll be right back. We'll get the brake on. I'll get everything to show you how nice everything is once it's done.